Oh, stop it. Okay. Two bros who are solid muscle are chatting about Jussie's hustle. They discuss their role in the false flag orchestrated so Jussie Smollett could brag. Bola and Ola Osadario, the Nigerian Hans and Franz, are finally breaking their silence about their involvement in the infamous Jussie Smollett hoax, a hoax that was so convincing it fooled these brilliant minds. I don't like that it's being put out there in the media that this is a right. possible yeah. hate crime. Right. There are a lot of questions in this case, but I know Jesse Smollett is a really, really good guy. I just want justice to be served in this case. Mm -hmm. And the media has really cast so much doubt on his story, which I find so personally offensive. He's given a detailed account, an account that yes, Chicago police have said has been consistent. He hasn't changed his story. They also said it's credible. Police okay. have said that, and also that he has been very cooperative. Mm. They should all be fired up for the new exclusive show on Fox Nation. No, it's not a casino. <laughs> the Nigerian brothers open up about that fateful night on Fox Nation in the, in, uh, when actor Justice Smollett claimed he was the victim of a white supremacist, anti-gay, anti-black hate crime. He hired two black guys to carry out the hoax, proving he truly believes in equity. Smollett claimed the brothers were white, so white supremacists who poured bleach on him and tied a noose around his neck, all while yelling he was in MAGA country. Why are we retelling this entire story? I don't know. Because, as we all know, Chicago is a hotbed of right-wing activism. Here's their head of the KKK. <laughs> I kid. But like a wool thong in the washing machine, it quickly unraveled. As you know, Smollett orchestrated it all, even paying the brothers by check to be in on the whole thing. We're gonna tell the, we're gonna tell the whole story. Hit it. Flying back from Nigeria, we were expecting our other $500 check. I felt like I was just gonna get back to business. Head back, start doing auditions, continue working out and living my great life. I had a whole different feeling. I felt like <laughs> the police was waiting for me. The customs agent was checking everyone's passport. Two big ass police officers came up. I went with them, I was like, damn, it's over with. They got me. So while they didn't give Smollett the racist beating he craved, they did show him the importance of something much more valuable, and that is acting lessons. The next time Smollett casts a hate crime, he should do a one-man show and just punch himself in the face. Lawrence, were you ever just for even a moment or did you, were you like all of us that like didn't want to say anything because we knew it was fake, but we, we didn't want to be first? Listen, <laughs> we all have jobs, okay? <laughs> yes. All right, all right, and we got to be easy on this. I mean, I could have said it, but you couldn't say it. Yes. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but I, I, look, there's two things right here. First of all, they're lying. The, the Chicago police knew it was a setup the entire time. It was They were just waiting for him to bury himself. Right. That's the first thing. But number two, he scripted this like a movie. Yes. That's why he doesn't have a job. Mm. I mean, it doesn't make sense at all. But I also think this is, this tells you about wokeness and the racial grievance politics of things, is that he used this as a negotiate, the plan was to use this as a negotiation to get more money and empire. That, that was, it wasn't, look, let me get more people to follow me. It wasn't, let me yeah. find another movie to get star in where I can raise my star power. It was, let me put the country pitted against each other and let me be the victim and then I'll get more money. I mean, that is just sick. It is, I mean, it is mind blowing, Joe, that he's out of jail. I mean, you could have started a race war. Uh, you know, that's not how you get acting work. That's the trouble with acting is that anybody can do it, you know? Like, look, you cast me as a spy. Yeah. Here, here's me as a spy. I'm not a spy. <laughs> you, Excellent. <laughs> you need. You need an angle, Greg. That's why I say um, I'm a victim of bullying, like back in, in elementary school. Sometimes even the girls would, would beat me up just because I tried to take their lunch money. <laughs> <laughs> you are such an interesting individual. <laughs> Kat, though, you would watch the hell out of this as a reality show. Why aren't they in Hollywood? Why aren't they getting a reality TV show? I did watch some of it. My favorite part was when they said, when he started denying that this is what happened, mm. they're like, oh, we just now, we, we just started seeing this different side of him. Mm. Like, that's the side he showed you. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like we, he, you know, they said they felt betrayed, but in order to be 
but trade, I feel like you have to trust somebody and maybe don't trust the guy that's approaching you to orchestrate a multi-layered hate crime hoax. Yeah. You know, because if every someone's like mean to everyone but you, you're not special. It's just not your turn yet. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, to defend him, Sarah, well, you could say that this kind of hate crime hoax was incentivized by a climate that rewards people for doing it. He just saw the writing on the wall and said, you know what? The pursuit of happiness now includes hoaxes. Yeah, okay, and back to Kamala, who was one of the first who was sympathetic and defending of the lies. When Jesse cried wolf, it was Kamala Harris. That's true. Who was out. She so, they so wanted to believe that this was true mm -hmm. because yes, it was all about division. But it also tells you what they think of the country, mm -hmm. right? that this could be possible. I mean, none of it made sense to begin with. All of us were sitting there just waiting for the moment to yeah. implode, but no one could say anything. You know what? And that's why you got to give credit to the Chicago reporters, the local yeah. reporters uh -huh. who were getting the abuse from everybody for for dogging, for dogged reporting. And you know, they 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 were right all along, and pe they had to they had to stick to it, even though nobody else would. That was amazing. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.